let's revisit the terminologies again here we are looking at a tree of letters okay letters on the english alphabet we have from a b c d up to j j k l and i have kept that all the nodes have different letter this is for our easy identification of a node right now which is the root of the tree the root of the tree is contains the letter a okay so this is the root of the tree good this is clear here now which are the leaves of the tree so root we know a what about the leaf nodes the leaf are the nodes e h k l j right these are the leaves of the tree what about the internal nodes a p c d g f and i these are the internal nodes why is j not is j an internal node no j is a leaf node what about external nodes external nodes are same as the leaf nodes okay so we have seen the root leaf internal nodes who is the parent of node c so parent of c that is a what about parent of i parent of i is g okay children of b children of b b has exactly one child which is d okay so children of g which are the children of g f i and j f i and j are the children of g okay, okay so we have missed one one Uh, terminology one important terminology we have we said that the line which connects a and c this is called as an edge right now same similarly c and g form another edge g and f forms another edge f and h forms another edge right this a to h these edges form what is called as a path so path is formed by a series of edges okay so a to c c to g g to f f to h form a path okay so that's a path what about this is this a path the h b d and the h i j do they form a path no that's not a path so path is like a play uh, a, a way where you can walk from one node to the other so b d and i k together can't form a path right on the other hand b d and e d these form a path 
B to E. This, if this is a path from B to E. Okay. Or we can also say it is a path from E to B. Right. Any edge is also a path. A to A C edge. A, there is an edge from A C between A and C. That is also a path from A to C and a path from C to A. Right. So that is a path. So path is a, a series of consecutive edges. So we have seen path, edge, etc. Next thing we are interested in is height of a node. So this is the definition we are going to use. The height of a leaf is always going to be 0. Okay. So keep this in mind. Height of a leaf So, what is height of B? It's 0. Or height of G? 0. What is height of I? 0. Height of D? 0. So, height of any leaf node is 0. Let's go to the next. Thing. What about height of the node H? Okay. So, height of H is 1. So, see, here is the thing. So, height. So, I am going to first try. Height of h is equal to 1. Now, why do I say it's 1? Because there is a one length path to a leaf node. And it's exactly this. Okay. That's height of a Height of h is 1 because there is 1 h to a leaf. So, what is height of e? Height of e is, so I am going to write h of e, okay. So, h of e is equal to again 1, right, because there is 1 length path or 1 h to uh, leaf node. So height of what about height of B? H of B. This is zero because it's a leaf node. Okay. What about height of F? Height of F is two because okay, it's a two length. There's a two length path to leaf. Height of D is again 0 and height of G is also 0. What about height of C? Now here is a confusion, right? So there are two paths to a leaf node. So either you can take this path. If I have taken this path, this is 2. This gives me 2. On the other hand, if this gives me, if I take the path on the right, that gives me 3. Now height is always going to be the maximum of all the paths to a leaf node. So height of this is 3. Okay. So height of C is 3 because if you look at all paths to a leaf node, the maximum value you get is 3. Okay. So, is the, do you know? Uh, do you see a formula for this? What is the height of C? So, height of C is equal to max of height of E and height of F. You take the max of the height of both of its children and plus one. Take the max. So, height of F F was two and height of E was one, and you add one for this extra H to C. So, that's a formula for finding height. Height of C is equal to height of E comma height of F plus 1. So maximum of height of E comma height of F plus 1. That's height of C. Now what is height of the root node? So height of A. What is H of A? H of A is take maximum over all the children and add 1. What is the maximum? height of all its children, the maximum height is h of c, height of c which is 3 
and add one. So it's four height of A. Now you know height of a node, right? Any node I give you, you can find what is the height of that node. So now final the final question is what is height of a tree? And what is the answer? Height of a tree is equal to height of height of a tree is equal to height of root node. And height of root node here, so height of this tree is height of its root node, which is 4. So height of this tree is 4. And you can see it's 4 because there's a path, there's a 4 length path to a leaf node. Right? That's why height of this tree is 4. Here we are looking at another tree. Again, a tree of letters from the English alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We are interested in a definition called as depth of a node. Just now we saw height of a node, right? Height of a node is kind of the distance from that node to a leaf. Okay, the maximum distance to a leaf is height of a node. Now I am asking depth of a node. And what should it be? Height is the maximum distance to a leaf and what should depth be? Depth is the maximum distance to the root of a node. Okay. No. Right. Maximum distance to the root of the tree. So, what is depth of the root node? Depth of A is this is zero because A itself is a zero node. Depth of B is one. Because there's just one edge to the root. Right? Depth of C again one. Depth of B this is two because it's a two path to the root. Depth of E is also two. This is also two. Depth of F is also two. And what about depth of G? This is three. Right. Okay, so it's clear. So depth is gives me the maximum distance to the root node. Right. So let me just note down. But there's a simpler definition. I said maximum distance to the root. So earlier in the previous definition on height of a tree, we used the notion of maximum distance to a leaf because there can be two paths taking you to a leaf and we want the larger path, right? But can there be two paths to a root node for a tree? The answer is no, because there's a, a, a node has exactly one parent and it has exactly one parent and it has exactly one parent and you reach the root of the tree. And that is you are going to take, there is only one unique path to the tree. So this is another property of trees. Unique path to the root. You take any node, there is a unique, exactly one path to the root. And depth of a node is therefore the, the length of this path. So maximum distance to the root uh, is a more complicated definition because there's only one path. So one path, there's no max, right? So it's it's basically distance to the root. That's depth of a node. Now, what is depth of a tree? Here we can have a maximum. Uh, here we use maximum. A depth of a tree is the maximum of our you look at all the leaves of the tree and take the depth of all the leaves of the tree and take its maximum. So depth of a tree is
depth of a tree is max over depth of all leaves. This is depth of a tree. Is there some other way you know the depth of a tree? The depth of a tree is exactly same as the height of a tree. This is another thing and the property of a tree. So depth of a tree is equal to height of a tree. In this example, you we have found out that the depth of this tree is 3. What about the height of this tree? The height of this tree is also 3. Okay. Because the height of the root node is 3. A tree is an ordered tree if a linear ordering is defined for the children of all the nodes. Let me explain this better. Some trees, like the family tree, requires that the children, there is an ordering relationship defined on the children. For example, you want to have the extra information that one is an elder brother of the other. Right? So that is a linear ordering being defined on the children. One is elder to the other. So let's look at this family tree. Here, there is an ordering of the children, right? For example, look, let's look at Pandu's children. Yudhishthir is elder than Bhim. So, and Bhim is elder than Arjun. So, there is a, the eldest son is on the left of the, the list of children, right? So, the children are ordered from left to right where the leftmost is the eldest and the rightmost is the youngest child. This is an example of an ordered tree. Now, let's, here is an example of the Linux file system. In this example, the slash folder has the slash bin, slash root, slash home, slash sys folders, etc. Right? As you can see on the screen. These folders there is no ordering in this folder there is no senior or elder or inner folders right so there is no ordering information required for these folder names so the children are children are not ordered in the file system trees so therefore this is an example of an unordered tree is it clear? So, if you have an extra information of an ordering on the children, a linear ordering on the children, then it becomes an ordered tree. Otherwise, this is an unordered tree. So, this Linux file system is an unordered tree. On the other hand, the family trees are usually ordered trees.